Good morning. Hello, Alain. Welcome to the OpenStack Summit. Thank you. This is your first OpenStack Summit? No, first as of the age. I've been here before. Perfect. Um, so being French, I happen to know a lot about OVH. And uh, that might not be the case of everyone in the audience. Mm -hmm. So could you give us a quick introduction at what OVH is? Sure. So OVH is a company that was founded in 1999 by Octave Klaba. You may have heard the name of the, of the, the, the man. Um, we've been going on. It started as a web hosting company. And then now we turn into a, a much broader cloud uh, infrastructure company. We essentially do bare metal, uh, which we're going to turn into bare metal cloud very, very soon, by the way. Private cloud and public cloud is kind of the bulk of what we do. We are uh, deployed throughout uh, the world, really. I was uh, looking at some of the earlier numbers, you know, 75 uh, data centers with open cloud, um, you know, public cloud on OpenStack. Well, 28 of them are with OVH, maybe not quite, because not all of them uh, do run OpenStack public cloud, but kind of give you an idea of the scale of the infrastructure. We have our own uh, network, which is uh, you know, huge 15 terabits of capacity and uh, growing on an ongoing basis. And uh, essentially, um, we have, in those 28 data centers, we have about 360,000 servers up and running serving customers today. And again, this is something that is growing um, in, another, you know, in the thousands almost every week. And last but not least, about 1.4 million customers uh, throughout the world. We're selling into 138 countries, if I remember correctly. Um, so really a global operations that is headquartered in France, but also have subsidiaries in, uh, in the US and North America and Asia Pac. So where is OpenStack used in all that? Pretty much everywhere, <laughs> right? So we use OpenStack, obviously, to deliver public cloud uh, services. We have about uh, 260,000 instances uh, up and running at any point in time. 150 petabytes of uh, Swift storage. I mean, that kind of gives you an idea of the magnitude. But effectively, we're using OpenStack really as an abstraction layer for everything that runs underneath. Uh, we had the OVH Summit uh, pretty much the same size as here a few weeks ago in Paris. You, you were with us on stage. Uh, um, and uh, basically, we announced a few new products, I mean, including uh, managed Kubernetes, for example, that runs on OpenStack infrastructure. We announced uh, you know, uh, data lakes, uh, Hadoop clusters managed uh, on top of OpenStack infrastructure, and so on and so forth. So we're really using OpenStack as an abstraction layer. And we're going to do that more and more so in the future. So I've had the chance to visit the NoviH data center, and it felt very different from other data centers I've had the chance to visit. Uh, so what makes OVH different? Yeah, they are different, uh, indeed. <laughs> um, I must admit that when I joined OVH, that was one of my uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, 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 astonishment as well. Um, something that makes us very, very different is that we do build our own servers. We have two factories, one in the north of France, one in Canada. And with those factories, we're building the servers. And when I mean we build the servers, we, we go from sheet metal all the way up to uh, selling OpenStack services um, and, and anything above that. Um, as you can see on the video, we, we're building the, and assembling the, 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 the servers, but also the racking systems. And that's one of the things that uh, differentiates us quite a bit, because the reason why we do this is because we are cooling our servers with water. And we've been doing that for over 15 years, which uh, at the time was a complete first. Um, and uh, we do that at massive scale. And this is allowing us to have <coughs> a very, very lean and cost-effective operations. Um, every single CPU in OVH has a little water block on it and is cooled by water. And by doing that, we have 98% of the data center rooms are air cooling free, uh, which make it uh, quite different indeed. As you can see on the video, of this, this is how the data center looks like uh, at OVH. Yeah, I can really see how. Uh, the open infrastructure idea resonates really well with OVH uh, hacker culture. And um, can you tell us a bit more about OVH view on open source and open infrastructure? Yeah, so, so this is uh, what Octave Klaba is saying about OVH, right? This is our motto is actually innovation for freedom. And the thing that is very important in this is, of course, we want to innovate. Everybody wants to innovate. We want to differentiate ourselves. Relying on OpenStack and open uh, source infrastructure is enabling us to do that faster than anybody else. Uh, 
or at least faster than people who are not uh, relying on open source infrastructure. That's one thing. But the other thing that is very important to OVH is we, we are very big on transparency and reversibility. We don't want to make customers captive of our own services. We build everything for customers to be able to come in and come out if they want to do so, right? Move data in, move data out. For example, we don't charge on ingress or egress bandwidth at all, right? And because that's a, a big impediment for moving data in and out. So for us, open source is very much part of that reversibility mechanism. So you want to take your workflows and your data from an open source environment in our cloud into your own cloud or into another cloud, you are absolutely free to do so. And this is enabling that uh, customer freedom and data movements and workflow movements. So you gave a lot of uh, big numbers earlier, and, but it's a bit abstract. Could you give us a better idea of what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis for, within OVH? Yeah, so, so we, when you ask that question, I say, well, how can I represent what we do on a day-to-day -day basis? So I said, well, let's take a month, right, and give you an idea of what we've been doing over a month. So that's the month of October, right? In the month of October, we basically uh, prepared and deployed three new OpenStack regions. Uh, in North America, in Vint Hill, uh, not sorry, in, uh, uh, on the West Coast, that the center that we have, we did the same thing in Asia Pac, in Singapore, and Sydney. So we did that uh, thanks to the, you know, deployment automation uh, based on Puppet. Uh, we are able once the infrastructure is up and running, right? Then you can the servers are provisioned and everything is is ready. It takes us four hours to activate a new region. Right? Uh, and by the way, new regions at OVH, something that people should know as well, is that this is also our way of scaling. So we have regions with 1,500-ish uh, servers per region. And once we get to that uh, capacity limit, we basically uh, deploy new regions. So that's the reason why we have uh, 24 worldwide. I said four hours, sorry, it's eight hours. What takes us four hours is what we did in the same month we've actually updated 22 of our 24 regions from an old version of OpenStack. We were running Juno until recently. We moved everything to Newton. So uh, we are just two regions away from having the entire infrastructure upgraded to Newton. That uh, upgrade was actually a massive amount of work, as you can imagine. Um, it took us a while to do all the R&D around it and automate it, but uh, now we are able to do that in four hours. And we have to, to understand that some of these regions have over 50 thousands instances. And we do that with no downtime, no customer's impact, no nothing. We do that overnight. That's what we do while you sleep. Um, it takes four hours to upgrade the region from Juno to Newton. The good news as well is that among those 22 that we've already upgraded to Newton, we have already started migrating some to Queens. So this is now that we are on to these newer versions, it's a lot easier to, to do the ongoing upgrades, which uh, we're trying to going to be no more than three versions behind the upstream. That's the goal. All right. What did we do? Well, we actually produce a few new flavors. And one of them is actually uh, a GPU flavor. So if you go on OVH uh, OpenStack pu public cloud, you can actually now consume uh, GPU flavors based on Tesla, the last generation of NVIDIA, with the NGC, which is the NVIDIA path for uh, managing, uh, managing your data and your AI, uh, and soon your uh, machine learning as well. And we decided to do uh, the, that with the, uh, the PCI path through mechanism so that customers can have access to the full uh, performance and capacity of the, uh, of the GPUs. What else? We have one of our big customers, actually the European Spatial Agency, more specifically a project called Copernicus. I don't know if you heard of it, but it's basically uh, a number of satellites around the Earth that are monitoring the health uh, of the Earth, taking photos um, you know, and other things, and streaming 1.5 gigabits of bandwidth constantly. Last month, we've actually added two petabytes of data to our storage infrastructure just for that one project. Um, this means that every month, we have to install 1,300 disks just for that one customer. Can I give you an idea of the magnitude of the, of the project, right? Um, that's also what happened over a month in October. And last but not least, that's the number of instances that we found in a month. 
which basically, if you do the math, we have 260,000 instances up and running at any point in time. That means that every month you reset all of them every week. That's the, 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 what's happening in the, in the OVH public cloud in a month. Yeah, that sounds like a busy month. <laughs> Especially you had your summit in the same month. That's true. <laughs> uh, so what are your future plans? Is there any uh, a new OpenStack component? I can see the slide is kind yeah, of telling Yeah, some everybody. of you may recognize the, the, uh, the like icons. Deploy, deploy at scale for yeah. the future. So, so, so a few things. Uh, first of all, it, it, I first want to thank you all, you guys, for, uh, for what you've done, because we wouldn't be where we are today without the uh, OpenStack community delivering all these projects with the quality uh, of the code that, that we have. And one of the bigger uh, contribution to uh, the community is basically that we're testing at pretty big scale, as you can see. And, uh, and that, I believe, is, uh, is a good contribution back to the community. Moving forward, there are a few things that we absolutely want to do. The first one is I did kind of spill the beans already. Uh, we are going to make our bare metal offering, which is by far the largest business of OVH, um, a bare metal cloud. So we are going to enable Ironic so that people can consume our bare metal servers uh, through the, uh, the OpenStack uh, APIs. And moving forward, we also, as I mentioned, you know, OpenStack becoming really the de facto under cloud abstraction layer for us. Um, we are actually about to launch a number of uh, data cloud databases, services, um, load balancing, HSM for storing your keys using Barbicans, and there are a few more projects like this uh, going on. So there are about 30, 35 OVH engineers. You will recognize them because they have a fantastic uh, red uh, hoodie. <laughs> Yeah. And um, talk to them, right? Uh, I'm sure that you're going to have a lot of feedback to provide you in terms of the technology and, uh, and what it provides. And uh, again, I want to thank uh, everyone in this room for all the great work that you've been doing over the, uh, the last uh, years. Well, that was uh, all great insight. I feel like we're out of time, unfortunately. So is there anything else you wanted to add to? No, I think uh, I, I said it all. Uh, thanks again. And uh, keep, keep going. We're doubling down on, uh, on OpenStack as a public cloud and an abstraction layer. And we have every intention to continue to grow that way. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Pat.